watch it later um and then pause it because i can't just sell my johnson what's that can't just sell my johnson after Dang it. all right thanks yeah of course okay so to reiterate we have our scale this is the height of our person and each section we divided it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sections. And each one is about the height of one head. So you wanna take that height, bring it over. I'm gonna put my person over here. So these are just ish where the, how tall they're gonna be is gonna go. And you're gonna start with your circle. I know, shocker. <laughs> so we're gonna start with as many shapes as possible. So you start with your, circle and then you do what we did last week with the head i don't know if you remember and you draw your line connecting down to the chin and that should be about again this is all just generally how people are shaped that's about how big the head is when i was younger i used to draw the head way too big because it's more fun to draw someone's face in general than the rest of them so I would always do it way too big and then the body would look super funky. So the head is actually smaller than you think it is. Um, then I wanna draw the neck. I'm just gonna draw kind of a boxy thing. And then his, her shoulders, I'm doing a female right now. I'm gonna draw two circles. They're about like a head's length away-ish from the middle. So that's where the shoulders are gonna go. And I'm drawing two circles for that. And then her chest is kind of an upside down trapezoid. So you're gonna draw a line connecting your shoulders and then draw your little trapezoid and try to, so one, two, three, four, this is halfway. So that's about where the hips are gonna go. Again, mine might be a little different than yours and that's a-okay. And I'm gonna round off the bottom because again, this is not a flat person. We're all three-dimensional and we have ribs and they're round. <laughs> so I'm kind of rounding off my trapezoid. And then I'm gonna draw another circle for where the hips are gonna go. I'm starting off light and then I'm gonna make it darker. And then there's that. And then you're gonna kind of, usually your hips are about, this is someone that's extremely proportional. Again, everyone is different, but the hips are gonna be about as wide, like where your legs connect to your body as your shoulders. And then what I like to do is I like to draw a line connecting the outside of those, of those um, circles to the middle. And this is because your legs go from here and usually your feet are more down here. So your feet are gonna be somewhere around there and they're not gonna be out here. That looks a little weird, <laughs> you know, unless you're purposely standing with your feet really wide, we generally don't stand with our hips, with our feet this wide. They're usually not as wide as our hips when we're standing relaxed. It also looks a little bit more feminine when you do that when you have your feet closer together. And then I'm gonna draw halfway down the leg is about where the knee is gonna go. So I'm gonna draw two circles for that along that line that we drew. And then for the ankles, it's like the middle of the bottom section right here. I hope I'm, I'll pause in a minute so you guys have some time to catch up. This is where the ankles are gonna go. And then, have seconds and then we're going to do our little trapezoid with the half circle for the bottom part. So you draw your little trapezoid right under the ankle circles. And they're touching in this case, just because that's how she's standing. And then I'm going to draw a little half circle on the bottom of those. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you a second. Would uh, Stella, would you be interested in seeing their process so far? Yeah, I love to. Yeah. I'm still so, doing my head, but I'll show you the one I already. Both, both. I don't want to see just the funny one. 
So we got a, we got some funny kids in here, but we got artists and funny kids. Show show Stella both. Okay. So this is my first one. It's Frosty the Snowman. Nice. And then the, uh, this one's still a work in progress, but this is Popeye the Sailor. <laughs> Good job. Those are cute. That's okay. Every time I show my art to a skilled artist, I feel nervous. Okay. So I'm going to keep going, and then I'd love to see your art towards the end as we go. Your elbows are about where the bottom of your rib cage is or about the middle. It just depends on how long the person's arms are. And the hands when you, that's great. <laughs> and the hands when you um, put your hands like by your side usually go to like the bottom of this section. So it's the, so this is for that five. So that's where the hand is. It's from four to five. And then your um, elbow is about halfway from there. Okay, now it should look a little funky. <laughs> we're gonna go in and we're gonna add more defining lines. What you guys can do now is take an eraser and slightly lighten up what you just put down with all the shapes. In my case, I'm just gonna lower the opacity. But for you guys, you just wanna take an eraser and slightly erase it just so you can still see what you already did, but so it's less dark. And if you started off with light hand, you might not even need to erase at all. Okay, <laughs> now that we have all these funny shapes, I'm gonna start drawing um, outlines around connecting the shapes. For example, if I have the neck here, I'm going to outline around to the elbow. And we already have a shoulder looking thing. <laughs> and then if I want to connect the elbow to the hand, I'm doing that, following the shapes that we have. I'm going to draw details later. So for now, the hand is just kind of an oval and then connecting that. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just starting at the arm. You guys don't need to start here. And if you're drawing a dude, I don't know if we'll have time. <laughs> I don't think we will, but in general, um, men have less wide of hips. So you'd make them about this wide instead. And it would come more down like this. <laughs> And then what I like to do is put the feet a little bit farther apart because it makes them look more masculine. So that would be, in general, you'd have smaller hips and then the feet would be wider apart. But we're doing a girl right now. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep doing that. So I'm connecting, again, we, we're not connecting everything. It's just the outside. So this is the outside of my trapezoid. I'm creating a waist by connecting the curve here. I'm curving it here from the trapezoid to the circle that we drew before. And then some women have these things called hip dips where your hips kind of go in and then back out. Some, some don't, but I guess here, because I put the circle so wide, it's kind of dipping in and then going around again. And that is totally normal. <laughs> And then we have our knees and then, um, oh shoot, I forgot to add two circles. <laughs> so really lightly, you wanna draw the quads, which are an oval connecting the top, the hip to the knee like this. And then you wanna draw a smaller oval, the knee to the ankle. And then I'm gonna go back so that we can do the legs. So I'm connecting these. And this is like the easy part. We already did all the hard work. We set out all of our proportions. We're just going in and outlining what we have down and rounding everything out. Thank <laughs> you. 
And if you think it looks funny, try to look at the proportions and then go in and erase and try again. That's all good. Like this leg looks a little funky, but I'll fix it later. <laughs> I'm gonna give her slightly thicker quads. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. This girl's very curvy. I made her hips a little bit too wide. What's her name? Lucy had to. Oh, Lucy P. And then I'm going to give her a collarbone. When I like to draw collarbones, I just do kind of a little U shape really lightly along the chest, the top, like this line up here. And then I just draw lines connecting the top of the circles on the shoulders in towards that little U shape. And then it kind of gives the illusion of collarbones. Okay. Now we have our general human. <laughs> Let's give her a cute outfit. <laughs> do we have time to do that? What time is it? Let's give her a cute outfit. Let's give her a cute outfit. Punk rock outfit. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. A what? <laughs> punk rock outfit. I, I was watching some punk rock teenagers this weekend. So I said, punk rock outfit. Oh. <laughs> punk rock outfit is good. We could give her kind of a punky outfit or like an e-girl outfit. <laughs> That would be fun. Um, I'm going to keep, I'm going to add some of the uh, guidelines back in. Okay. And then if you want to erase your little guidelines, you should end up with something kind of like that. <laughs> it's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect the first time you'll get, you're going to have to practice and it's not going to look very good. And that's all good. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, I want to give her kind of, she's going to be kind of moody. I'm going to draw those guidelines that we did last week on her face. Just a few of them. I'm going to give her some eyes. You guys don't have to go into detail yet. I'm just generally making her look less creepy. Or maybe more creepy. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna give her this like short kind of don't mess with me hair. <laughs> She's gonna be like. And you guys can add your outfit and your hair and do whatever you want. You can make her look really sweet and girly and give her like a pink dress or something. Or you can give her like a black leather jacket and like a sword or I don't know, <laughs> whatever you guys like. Another thing, like we talked about, I think I went over this with you guys, she's more feminine. So I'm making her neck more narrow and curved. If it was a guy, I'd make the neck wider and more, um, more straight up and down. I'm gonna erase that. Okay, let's give her. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna give her some like leather pants and a really thick belt with like a plastic buckle, kind of like a car seat buckle. They look like that, I think, right? Oh, really sure. But this is the fun part. You guys can add whatever you'd like or not add whatever you'd like. I'm gonna give her a thumb and just generally some fingers. <laughs> we could do a lesson on hands. That would take the whole time. <laughs> 
and then I want them to be have some seams coming down and then kind of flare out at the bottom. Okay. And then I'm erasing these. Okay, and then she's gonna have like almost a turtleneck. I think it's called a mock neck, right? When it comes up like halfway, I'm not really sure. And then this is like the hem of her long sleeve. And then I think it would be cool if she had like a big chain on or something. <laughs> but this is generally how I design my characters. I'll just draw a basic body structure and then I'll go in and I'll add outfit stuff. I'm adding some wrinkles on her shirt. And then I'm gonna give her some thick eyebrows. Can I show you mine? Okay. I don't know if you can hear you, you gotta go close again. Can I show you mine, Stella? Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Thank you for sharing. I love, I can see all the guiding lines that you did. That's great. Anyone else? I want to see you guys, what you've done. What have you done with the place? The bottle would be like six. And not on purpose. Yeah. And that's why, see how, see Stella's lines here? Remember those lines right here? Those tell you like where, like how, how big things should be compared to this. Sure, oh, sure, sure. No, not yet, not yet. Oh, sure. It is hot, let me know, turn it easy down, or hot, easy, whatever. Do you guys have any questions for me? Do you need help with any specific part? When did you learn how to do the hands like that? Do the hands? Yeah. Um, well, when you are drawing something detailed, you first want to make a general shape. So I just like to draw an oval to suggest that there's a hand there. And then when I go back in and I'm actually finishing a drawing, so like, um, I don't know, I'll, if I'm actually going in and finishing a drawing, I'll break it into even more shapes. So if I'm drawing a hand, I'm breaking that one oval that I started with into more shapes. So this is gonna end up being the thumb 
And these are like the rest of the fingers. How many drawings did you make? What? How many drawings have you done in your whole life, Stella? <laughs> hmm, that's a good question. I don't know, a lot. A few thousand for sure. Yeah. At least. What? Stella's done a few thousand drawings. Oh, easily. Yeah, easily. easily. It depends on what you count as like a whole drawing, I guess. Right, right. I guess, I guess the other thing would be like how many hours, right? Because because they they're fourth graders, so they're like ten years old. If they spend an hour drawing, if they do an hour three days a week, that's three hours. Yeah. Right. So, oh, maybe that's a good. Uh, how how many days a week would you draw? Um. When I wasn't as busy, I would draw seven days a week for about, oh. on average, 45 minutes to an hour a day. But sometimes I would only draw like three days a week, but those three days I would draw like four or five hours. Oh. So I guess it would average out to like 45 to 30 to 45 minutes a day. So at least four hours a week at least yeah yeah and it's which is better should the should the students draw should the students draw two days a week for three hours each um, or should they draw i think it's less? whatever makes them happy <laughs> if they really get into a drawing and they want to spend a lot of time on it then spend four or five hours spend your entire day on that one drawing if that's what you enjoy doing but yeah. if you, you can draw one thing and you're having a bad day and it makes you more irritated and you're like well at least i did something then just draw for like 10 minutes yeah you know it's just good that you're doing it and you're using your creativity you also don't have to draw people you can draw animals you can draw objects and this breaking everything down into these basic shapes can apply to everything. If you look at a computer, it's made of a couple rectangles. And then if you look at your water bottle, it's made of a cylinder and the lid is a another shorter cylinder. Um, oh, so practice you, on that note, Stella, could you show them the basic shapes? Like yeah. all the building blocks of, of every, because Stella's right. If you know these basic shapes, she's, you could draw anything that you see. But you have to be able to draw these items. You can draw these things. You can draw it. These. You can draw a circle. <laughs> if you can draw a triangle. If you can draw a rectangle. A trapezoid. Again, these aren't perfect because I'm just sketching them. If you wanted to use a ruler, you really could. But I don't like using rulers. They're annoying. Um, and then a cylinder, like your water bottle, for example, is a circle that's kind of an oval. You draw two lines going down from the sides of the circle, and then you draw another oval slash circle on the bottom, and voila, <laughs> you have a tin can. <laughs> and then what else? I guess a pyramid is just made of multiple. <laughs> or a box. This is also using perspective, which we could do a whole lesson on. That's not a very good box. <laughs> That's okay. I'm back. But if you guys can draw. If you guys can draw these basic shapes, then you can draw anything. If you look at anything and you break it down into its basic shapes, then you'll be able to, to recreate it. Can I see some of your people that you drew today? Bye. Okay, time to show Stella your work. And uh, people made the movie. That's Chomper. Um, Chomper. People who made the movie, you That's can. Chomper. We'll show Stella the movie later. Yeah. Drawings now. Bye, Chomper. Okay. Okay.
So first off, we have Frosty. Didn't really we add. saw Frosty. And no, Papa. no, I added one more thing. Okay. We have Pop. This, this guy, Frosty, very oh, okay. regular last time. But oh, this time, okay, excuse me, squirrel. Excuse me. Excuse Myra, me. Lee, um, we have Pop by the Sailor Man. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, spinach. Stop me. Next. Yes, next. spinach right there. Murphy. Next. Okay. Hello, it's me. Okay. Chuckles. Bye, Chuckles. I'm the star of the oh, show. No, 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 no. This is not your channel, Arma. Go ahead. Jigman. I did not make the face, but now it's okay. like a mannequin. That's that great. Like mannequin. Yeah, mannequin. Man That's mannequins really are helpful. It's really proportional. Good job. I, I work really hard on it. So we have two more. What's this? Okay. Ooh. So this is, is this yours? Your mom is not All right. This, this, Someone's uh, died. yeah, that was That's Pinter. great. And then where's the, oh, yeah, John, man. Oh, dig me, bring yours up. Marley, you want to show, tell yours? Oh, you did already? There, yeah, we got one more. Okay. Pack and stack, please. Already pack and stack. Oh, mine, mine is so bad. For, the no, more you not. practice, buddy, that is, that is good. The more That's you fantastic. practice. fantastic. So, Stella, when you work, how often are you dissatisfied with your own work? um about well i think you get better at it as you go but when i was their age about 90 percent of it i would throw away <laughs> stella herself she would look at her drawings and go it's okay but it's not good enough so if you think it's not good enough that that means you're an artist oh, no. artists say that it's not good enough yet exactly this is not good enough am right. i an artist now thanks stella thank you you're for welcome. having me that was great have a good weekend. You too. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Stella.